This is going to be a quick video on kind of how to handle free fall problems when the, the object is projected upward. So let's say we're dealing with a ball. Remember it's going to start out with some speed and it will slow down over time and eventually stop. But here's the thing. The Earth, or if we're some, on some other planet, the, the gra gravity does not stop pulling on the ball that we've thrown upward. It's still pulling on it, and, and that means if the ball has finished going upward, it will go down. But one thing to be mindful of is that gravity doesn't turn itself on and off. It doesn't really change its magnitude just because the ball moved a few feet. Um, so the rate at which the ball uh, slow down over here is going to be the same rate at which the ball speeds up. So we get this kind of, kind of symmetry um, that basically whatever speed uh, we had on the way up at that same height will have the same speed just on the way down. So we get this nice kind of symmetry here. Uh, and just remember, if we're saying that positive is upward, then all these positive velocities here um, would be on the left, and all the positive velocities on, or all the velocities on the right here would be negative. So the number in between all the positives and all the negatives is zero. Hopefully that makes sense because this is where the uh, ball would be changing directions. And so since it's changing direction, it shouldn't really have one of its own uh, at that moment. And that's kind of just how to handle free fall up and down. The one issue I kind of see all the time is consider like a more realistic scenario where maybe uh, we throw the ball up and where we release the ball isn't quite where we uh, catch the ball. So let's do this. Maybe we catch it in the other hand. So maybe at this height. So it looks something like this. Well, when we're looking at our variables, um, a lot of students struggle with what to put in for delta y. Well, keep in mind our kinematics equations look like this, or one of them looks like this, I should say. So it's okay for y to be lower than y naught. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, and so if we rewrite this equation, it would just look something like this. Uh, if we subtract the initial position from both sides, because all this is is y minus y naught for our displacement. Um, so a lot of students are concerned. They're, they think that they need to include this position somewhere. But remember, our equation here already assumes that the trajectory is parabolic, um, or that, that it's moving in a, in a parabola. So we really only need those final two positions, and they just need to be in the correct order. So when it comes to your displacement, if we said upward was positive, we need to make sure that we have a negative displacement here. Um, same thing for our acceleration due to, to gravity. Uh, the acceleration or the gravitational field, if we said upward is positive, G needs to be negative. All right.